Hey guys, it's Toby and we're going to be building a gaming PC for £600. Let's go! Alright, first off we have the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. The 3600 is a 6 core 12 thread processor clocked at 3.6 GHz with the ability to boost up to 4.2 GHz. The 3600 is arguably one of the best processors in the world right now in terms of price to performance. What you're getting here is great single core performance and great multi core performance. So what this means is that when you're doing anything that's CPU intensive such as video editing, rendering, or if you're playing a CPU intensive game like City Skylines, Civ 5, Civ 6, things like that, they're going to run perfectly fine without any issues at all. In addition, this is a 7 nanometer processor which also supports PCI Express 4.0, so you won't have to upgrade the processor anytime soon. In the box, you will also find a Wraith Stealth cooler, which AMD issue as standard for most of their processors now, which means you won't have to go and buy an aftermarket cooler. So overall, the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 is the way to go for this build since it offers great performance at such a competitive price, and it is also future-proof. Moving on to the graphics card, we're going to be using the NVIDIA GTX 1660. The 1660 we have here is from Palette, and it is a smaller version of the normal size graphics card, however that doesn't mean we miss out on any of the performance. What we're getting here is 6GB of GDDR5 memory clocked at 1530MHz and we have all the connectivity options such as HDMI, DVI and DisplayPort. The card itself can support displays in resolutions from 1080p all the way up to 4K, however what we're looking at specifically is the 1080p performance. When gaming at 1080p you can expect to play pretty much everything at high settings or ultra settings at 60fps without any issues at all. So games like the new Call of Duty and Doom Eternal will run perfectly fine without any issues and the usual suspects like League of Legends, CSGO, Fortnite, Minecraft, Rocket League, Dota 2, all of those are going to run perfectly fine at the best possible settings. Some of you may be wondering about 1440p gaming which is also very possible on the 1660 however you might need to turn the settings down depending on what game you're playing. So overall, much like the Ryzen 5 3600, the GTX 1660 offers great performance at such a competitive price point and therefore it's going to be a great option for our build. Moving on to the motherboard, we're going to be using the Asus Prime B450 Plus. The Prime B450 Plus is a great motherboard as it has support for our processor right out of the box. In addition, the motherboard also has support for pretty much everything you'll expect, such as USB 3.1 Gen 2, a USB-C port, 10100-1000 Ethernet, HD audio, up to 6 SATA 3.0 slots in addition to an M.2 drive slot, support for USB 3.1 on the front panel, and also 4 sticks of DDR4 RAM. And coming on to the RAM, we're going to be using 8GB of Corsair Vengeance. There's not much to say about this, it is the bog standard Corsair Vengeance LPX range, which is low profile. It is clocked at 3000 MHz rather than 2400 MHz. What this means is that you're going to get slightly more performance, maybe like a couple of frames in certain games. Also, since it is only one stick of 8, you have the ability to upgrade in the future to 16GB and up to 32GB with this motherboard. Now coming on to our storage options, we're going to be using the Western Digital Green M.2 SSD. This is a 240GB M.2 SSD which will fit perfectly onto the M.2 slot on our motherboard. And what we're going to put specifically on this is our operating system and any games or programs that we use very frequently since they will boot up a lot faster than compared to say if they were on a hard drive. And speaking of hard drives, we're going to be using the 1TB Western Digital Blue. This is the go-to hard drive for pretty much all of our builds. You have enough space for your documents, your videos, your music, your archives, anything like that. And if you need more space, you can always upgrade to a 2TB or 4TB variant. As you can see here, I've also bought this myself and I am still using it to this day. Coming on to the power supply, we're going to be using a Corsair VS550. The VS550 is an 80 plus white certified power supply, which means you're going to get clean and efficient power. It is a non-modular power supply which means you'll have all the cables already attached and you can't really go wrong with this as it is a very quiet and very compact power supply which will provide more than enough power for our build. 
And finally, coming onto the case, we're going to be using the Corsair Spec Delta. The Spec Delta is an ATX case, which means it has more than enough space for all of our components in this build. In addition, it also has four 120mm fans, three of which are RGB, as you can see on the front panel. This is not only good for airflow, but it also makes use of the RGB header on the motherboard. The case also has a tempered glass side panel along with a mesh front panel, which is very good at seeing the build in all of its glory. Now case options are kind of subjective so I will also include some alternatives in the build guide which you can find linked in the description below. And yeah that's it guys, thanks for listening, leave us a like if you like this video, leave us some feedback down below in the comments, if you're considering buying any or all of these components please use our links as it does help us out a lot. Check out our social media, especially the Twitch account as we'll be streaming more often, don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you next time.